Right, welcome ladies and gents, Bob Iger, I think he's soon to be out to be fair, at Disney. Why? Activist investor Nelson Peltz, he was on before uh, and he sort of stopped his, you know, his sort of uh, proxy war, I guess, with the board and with Bob Iger, you know, for some concessions, it seems, uh, but he's back, which is a good thing, I think, actually, uh, but not only that. He wants more. He wants much more now. So he has a $2.5 billion stake in the Walt Disney Company. Not a, not a small amount. And he's preparing to make a second run at pressuring the company to grant him board seats. Uh, this is from the Wall Street Journal and they reported that yesterday. So Peltz's Tryan Fund Management is responding to the steady slide in Disney's shares. Which... Funnily enough, as soon as this released, Disney shares went up, which goes to show what people have confidence in, hey? But uh, they're about down uh, 16% for the year to date. Uh, in January, Tryan unleashed a targeted campaign to criticize Disney's corporate management, and they're not wrong, uh, and recent underperformance of the stock, and Peltz pushed to have himself added to the Disney board. And, and this, uh, well, this would shake Disney to its foundation because... Everyone on the board at the moment was appointed by, well, yeah, um, Bob Iger. <laughs> so there you go. So February 9th, Tryan had reached a uh, detent with Disney, which at the time was readjusting to the return of Bob Iger as CEO in November 2022, which followed a rocky nearly three-year tenure for Bob Chapek. Peltz withdrew his bid for the board seat after Disney unveiled a broad, a broad restructuring of operations, which hasn't done anything. Uh, they also made other commitments to streamline company operations, but they've done nothing. So Iger in July floated the trial balloon of possibly selling ABC and other linear TV assets, and it's no secret that the company has been considering partnership options for ESPN. They are up shit's creek. They have massive problems. Disney has huge problems. So Peltz's decision to revive his campaign comes after he's steadily increased his stake in Disney in recent months. According to the Wall Street Journal, Disney, like other media giants, have struggled with the accelerated transition from linear to streaming platforms that have upended how studios make money from content. Basically, they shouldn't have done it. Uh, the industry has also endured a rough summer of dual strikes by the Writers Guild of America and SAG-AFTRA. This is probably going to be so incredibly welcome by anyone on, you know, anyone that actually has shares in Disney, actual shareholders are probably loving this news. So in January, Tryan took aim in its investor materials at Disney's operational and strategic thinking, as well as over-the-top compensation practices and not enough cost discipline around new streaming businesses. But these are all things that Bob Iger's previously admitted himself. So Peltz also faulted Disney for its failed succession process and for overpaying for 21st Century Fox in 2019. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing news. Genuinely incredible. Um, uh, yeah, Th this is fascinating for a few reasons because Ike Perlmutter was involved in getting Nelson Peltz. Well, basically tried to get him on the board as well. Uh, and then when Nelson Peltz backed off, uh, Ike Perlmutter was rewarded by being fired, unceremoniously fired. $2.5 billion stake in Walt Disney. I sincerely, I do sincerely hope Nelson Pelt gets a seat at the board because it will change things. All those private funds, those hedge funds, BlackRock, you know, Vanguard, whatever. They will, I mean, they've got all the money in the world anyway, but... It's a big bad sign for Disney when someone like Nelson Peltz comes on board. And it could honestly mean the end for Bob Iger. This move could genuinely mean the end for Bob Iger. It's not a small thing. It's really not a small thing. So, yeah, fascinating stuff. It, it, I'm surprised he didn't do it sooner. But it does seem from this article that he's been slowly and steadily increasing his shares. So he increases stake in Disney in recent months. So all, all those times it's been going down, Nelson Peltz has been sat there like, buy, buy, buy. 
Yep, get some more. Get some more. Yeah, yeah, come on, get some more. Get some more. And then... Uh, and then, right now, he's like, yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go to town. What an absolute shit show. And this also, you've got to remember, the strategic timing of this, this comes out after a pretty massive expose on how Bob Iger was essentially puppet pu puppeteering Bob Chappick. He was still working at Disney. He had his whole office. He was making all the decisions that everyone's blamed now on Bob Chappick. So strategic, strategic uh, timing of this. He increases his his stake in Disney, and then he just comes out and goes, "Yeah, okay, actually, let's do this. G g give me some more. Give me some more seats. I deserve them. Give me, give me some seats." And I can't imagine this also comes out before, and this is why it's another massive, massive red mark against Disney. This comes at a time when they're on the lead up to doing another investors call. Yeah, pretty bad timing, actually, for all of this to happen. Because that investor's call is not going to go well. They've had a string of terrible films, terrible decisions, terrible publicity as well. The publicity has been awful. Bob Iger made some, you know, for whatever you agree or disagree with his statements, they were poorly timed to do with SAG-AFTRA and the strikes and things. He made some awful statements that were received awful by the public. And, and that's that's... It, it all matters, you know. Shareholders are not going to be happy when, you know, inve and investors when the stock price keeps going down. And also, it goes up the moment Nelson Pope's news drops. Well, there you go, because the market responds, thinking that Nelson Peltz will steer the ship right again. Not Bob Iger, but Nelson Peltz will. So I think this genuinely—I don't want to get ahead of myself—but it genuinely could mean the end for Bob Iger at Disney. 100% it could. And also could mean the end for all the board members that were appointed by Bob Iger. And God, wouldn't that be a good idea? Wouldn't that be great, ladies and gents? Wouldn't that be absolutely brilliant? So there you have it. I mean, it seems like this... I mean, this dropped, you know, yesterday. Um, but I, I would have been well well asleep by, by this point. I'm catching up on some bits and pieces. I'm doing a master's degree, unfortunately, on weekends. Well, not unfortunately, but I'm doing it on weekends. So it means I'm a little bit busy. But... There you go. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Bob Iger, you could be out, bro.